Sonya the Wind Battle Angel got two buffs in this recent balance patch. The first one increases the percentage of her attack gauge boost when she is attacked with a glancing hit. It used to do 30%, now it does 50%. The second one is an effect added if the enemy target's attack speed is slower than yours. The damage increases according to the difference between your attack speed and the enemy's attack speed up to 100%. She is a unit that a lot of people are using, very similar to Daphnis. Super fast, a lot of crit rate, a lot of crit damage, a lot of attack power because you need that extra attack power for her skill too, which ignores defense as long as it's twice as much as the enemy's defense. Let's take a look at her. Let's see how she's doing after her buff. People have been enjoying her. Just keep in mind that it is very hard to ruin a usable Sonya. Some people are able to do it. Let's see how it works. pre bans on Leo and Oliver, so Oliver is just pre banned in half the matches anyway, but pre ban on Leo actually tells you a lot about their draft because that means that they're going for a fast speed-based damage dealer type of... generally fast speed-based damage dealer type of comp. So, you can kind of expect to be fight. That's going to do a lot of damage. 81,000 damage. So, they had the speed buff. They had the attack power buff. So, you knew that that was going to actually activate the ignore defense. Now, they stack the Nana uh, again. Actually, because um, it's got a good multiplier as long as you meet those conditions. But that Leica is a pretty decent counter to the Sonya, number one, because it takes multiple hits to kill him. Number two, because he's not going to glance. And Sonya is very strong when she's glanced on. So that's actually a pretty uh, pretty solid counter. <laughs> I mean, he went down, Sonya killed him anyway. But, you know, that's what happens when he's got, like, no HP left. So, it was a good counter, though. So we saw the Leo pre-ban previously, but Coco pre-ban, this is actually something I, I want to say you don't see every day. I, ha I don't think I've ever seen Coco pre-banned ever. At all. Uh... Coco could be a decent counter to the Ragdoll. I'm assuming that that's why they pre-banned the Coco. Didn't actually activate her passive, uh, Sonya's passive, when she was attacked by Praha, but did ignore defense. So, uh, Nana stacked again. Two stacks. Does, uh, does Sonya go down? Let's see. Sonya's passive not really coming into play here. Get Stay Dream. All right. Let's see. Can they stack again, or is Sonya going down? Sonya goes down again. Her passive is not really doing too much here. She d she did enough damage to kill the, uh, the Praha without the attack power buff or speed buff or anything like that. But... And now she goes down again. So, passive really wasn't activating. Pre-bans Juno and Oliver. Oliver's not a shock. Juno, though, does actually tell you something about the draft that they're running. So, they are using Sonya. I would, I would guess that this is a tankier build. Look, she's not that fast, right? She's not that fast. They're looking to have her increase her attack bar over there. Didn't do enough. Didn't do enough to take down Dominic. Without the speed buff, without the attack power buff, did not do enough damage with skills. But that's that's kind of the issue is when you are trying to get enough stats in making sure she's tanky, then you have to sacrifice in speed, crit rate, crit damage, attack power, and she's not going to do... She's, she's actually... She has high rune requirements. Another match where Leo is pre-banned. We're seeing Leo being pre-banned in every single match. So, they have two speed leads. I wonder if those are both on Swift on the right-hand side, because you know the segment's going to be super fast. The segment was not super fast. Well, I'm sure she still was super fast, but she got outsped by both Miles and Sonya. Increase the cooldown on the Oliver. And then Oliver Violent Prox 350,000 times and gives himself his cooldowns back. But by the way, if you guys are having struggles with Masha, Miles is a very solid Masha counter that a lot of people have been using, just in case you didn't already know. I'm sure a lot of people have already known that. But there's just enough to take down the Shangpung, which means I think that just between the Miles um, being able to take down the Masha and the Sekhmet, I, I don't think they even need those wind units there. I think they're just going to be perfectly... like the, the Miles can do quite a lot here. So... Yeah, that's that, that's gonna be GG. Not the first three picks. I thought we were gonna spot the Masha is uh, Masha is pretty normal. Oliver ban, Nana ban. This is a wacky cleave team on the right hand side, and then a response team on the left hand side. But man, I just 
I, I started using Molly less because she's so she's so inconsistent. Like you don't know if she's gonna work, if she's not gonna work. You don't even know what's gonna happen. So uh, the Chandra, though, fun uh, fun enough, is with the attack age increase. I I think people that are picking Chandra are that was a very fast match. I think people that are picking Chandra are the, just hoping that their opponents didn't read the balance patch, so they don't know that it's a speed lead uh, with an attack age boost. Again, pre-ban Leo, pre-ban Oliver. It seems to be very consistent pre-ban Leos. And then Oliver is just Oliver, so that's why he's getting pre-banned all the time. Going for a bruiser team on the right-hand side and a fast single target snipe on the left-hand side. All right. Decent enough to take down the Busa. And they also have some sustain, too. That was fast. This is how you know something is very strong, is if it just keeps getting double pre-banned in every single... Like, between Oliver and Masha, those things, I've seen so many double pre-bans. They banned out the Susanu. They, their entire team countered the Susanu. I have no idea why they banned out the Susanu. So, you're also going to see the Sonya passive really not come into play too much because Leo's on the field. I don't know why they banned the Sonya. I, I feel like that... I mean, not the, not the Susano, the Susano. I don't know why they banned the Susano. They didn't need to ban the Susano. They, yeah, they they had plenty of uh, Susano counters there. Like, like the entire team. <laughs> so, don't know why they did that. But let's see if that winds up uh, haunting them in the end. Now they have multiple ignore defense. You don't want to get that torrent, though, down to uh, under 30%. That's dangerous. Let's see. 50%. Oh, now it's... There. Oh, he didn't have it. Wow. Yeah, I feel like this is... I feel like this is already game. Ignore defense, and then ignore defense. Not, not there, but yeah. I don't know why they banned that to Susano. I feel like that cost them the game. Destiny is such an early pick. Also, Leo Vertiheel pre-bans. So we see that Vertiheel is a solid counter to the Destiny and uh, the two Art Masters, which we could have, we already knew, right? Because uh, 45% chance is really 250% chance. Because Summoner's War. Okay, doesn't even, doesn't even get the increased cooldown on the Samoth, which is actually pretty significant. Do they violent proc with Never mind, they don't have to. Let's see. Do they? No, they don't get it. I'm just because they have increased. They have multiple increased cooldowns uh, for that Samoth. So serious matter. That's game now. There you go. So that is the newly buffed Sonya, the Wind Battle Angel. Regardless of her passive activating or not, her skill two still does pretty significant damage as long as her attack power is twice as much or more than the enemy's defense however as we've seen in multiple matches leo is a strong that's why leo is getting banned so much is a strong counter to her to get her passive to activate and continue to cycle turns and increase her attack bar also like a pretty strong against her because number one element advantage number two can't glancing and also needs to be hit multiple times to actually die hope you guys enjoyed it that's it for this one i will see you as always in the next one.